Hey guys, Ty here, and in this video, we are going to go over sideloading VR apps, regular apps, all sorts of cool stuff to your Oculus Quest. And we're gonna be using SideQuest, which is like the best thing since sliced bread to come along for the Oculus Quest. It adds a ton of functionality. You're gonna get a ton of free VR games. You're gonna be able to play regular Android games. There's just so much you can do once you get into the side loading thing. And this is gonna be a fairly quick video. Uh, we're just gonna walk through how to get it all up and running and what to side load, how to get you started, kind of off to a good start on your own and you can take it from there. And then I'll follow up with a few other videos on some more advanced stuff that you can do side loading. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Tech reviews and tutorials. Okay, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to need to put your quest into developer mode. So it's easy, I've actually already done a video on how to do that. I will provide a link in the description down below. It takes less than two minutes, it's super easy. So once you've got your quest in developer mode, you're going to want to download the USB drivers for it to work. So I will provide a link to the Oculus site down below and we'll go over here and I'll show you a screenshot kind of of what it looks like. So this is the site right here. You're just going to click, I have read and I agree to the terms and conditions even though you didn't. You're gonna click download and that will download a zipped file to your computer. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, open that up. Whoops, wrong folder, here we go. And so you're going to extract it, and then you're gonna have to click in a couple folders. In fact, I'll show you. So you're gonna, it's gonna give you that, you gotta click through that, gotta click through that. And then you're going to right click Android underscore win USB. Uh, so right click on that, and up at the top, you'll see the option to install. Click install, if you get a prompt asking, click allow. Boom, operation completed successfully. So now your Quest can communicate correctly with your computer. Now you're going to want to download SideQuest. We'll be plugging this in in a sec. So download SideQuest and install that. I'll provide a link down below and we'll go ahead and pull this up. So this is what SideQuest looks like when you launch it. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm gonna plug in my headset right here and we should hear a little bit of a beeping sound. Why isn't it beeping? Is my headset on? Let me double check. And it appears to still be loading. Hold on. Uh, I thought I started it before I did this. We can uh, just edit through this. Okay, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Um, it was frozen, but I just restarted it. We're good. Gotta love being able to just edit that out. So again, you're gonna plug in your Quest. Gotta love these magnetic cables. Uh, plug it in, you'll see your computer will chime. Uh, it may open up a browser window depending on how you're configured, but the first time, it's probably not gonna do a lot. You need to look inside of your headset when you first plug it in and give the Quest or the access to your PC. So it'll say, do you trust this device, your computer that you're plugging it into? You're going to click always trust and click okay. Now back to side quest. So you'll see that you're connected at the top up here where it says connected and it'll tell you what your Quest's Wi-Fi address is so you know everything is good to go. And let's just kind of go through SideQuest here. So this is the uh, homepage and it's got some of the uh, featured apps and games and whatnot. Quest App Launcher is kind of a cool uh, application launcher that will launch your regular VR apps and then any regular Android apps. And it's in like a cool 3D uh, kind of a VR environment with a big floating screen. So check that out. Out, you will need an app launcher, a way to actually start your non-VR apps. Most of the apps that you're going to sideload here that are VR apps, all of the VR apps will show up in a section that you're going to have now called unknown sources. So you're gonna click your library and off on the left hand side you'll see unknown sources. You're gonna click that. And so if you get say T for God, it's a great game or Crisis for Gade, another really good game. They're all free. And we'll, I'll show you how to install them here in a second. That's where those are gonna show up. So under your unknown sources. Um, but let's say you want to install Angry Birds or Angry Birds 2. I love Angry Birds 2 on this. It's a lot of fun to play it on like a huge screen. It's like having a 200 inch Android tablet to play games on and you can install Kindle Lite if you want to read eBooks. There's a ton you can do with it. Just use your imagination. But you're gonna need a, a way to launch those. So you need a launcher. Uh, Quest App Launcher uh, right here is another one. 
My personal favorite is App Starter, and I will provide a link down below to App Starter and also a shortcut app where it shows up in your new unknown sources and you can click that and it will open Oculus TV, which runs all of these regular Android apps and then automatically start uh, App Launcher. So it's just one click and it cuts out a few steps. And then from there, you can open your regular Android apps. And I'll, I'll show you exactly what that looks like here in a sec, but let's get back to SideQuest. So here is SideQuest right here. Um, and on the left-hand side, that's kind of your navigation bar, and they've got a little redundancy at the top. Uh, so we can go ahead and click on Games, and let's load up the games here. So these are all free games that might be in alpha or beta stages. They may have been rejected by the Oculus Store. Uh, some of them may be sort of like demos and they will be coming soon to the Oculus Store. Uh, one of my favorite games of all is T for God. <clears throat> it's an amazing, amazing game. It knows the boundary that you've drawn out and then it builds the environment that you're in based off of that so you can it's called procedurally generated and it's <clears throat> euclidean geometry so it doesn't really work in the real world you can walk around a corner and then when you go around another corner you're in this other space obviously you would have walked right back in on yourself there and it keeps you within your boundary and you could walk for miles literally you got like a five by five boundary you're just walking all over the place so definitely check out t for god uh, another one of my favorite games to siloed here is Crisis Brigade. That is like a cop shooter game. You're, you're trying to get the bad guys. Uh, and that is a lot of fun. You're going to find yourself on the ground, hiding behind cars, you know, trying to shoot. That is a great, great game. Uh, Wrong Voyage is a really good game as well. I actually uh, paid for that one on the Oculus Go. I think they might have denied it for the Quest in the Oculus Store. Um, Pathcraft, that's a fun game right there. Uh, Younger Debbie's really cool, and that's a really good time killer game. Uh, there's a bunch of really good stuff in here. So if you want to install one of these, you're just going to click on Open and then install latest right there and that's it and what will happen is here let's go ahead and install the latest version of this so it will download this may take a quick sec because i don't have the fastest internet connection down here but it'll download it and it will give you the uh, progress right here and then it will install it and at the bottom of the side quest screen you're going to see a little green bar that kind of pops up saying yep it worked uh, so we'll just go ahead and fast forward really quick through this all right and there you'll see now it is uh, installing so it'll say installing apk uh, and once it's done here we'll see the green uh, notification along the bottom right here so if it's a big game it may take a while to download uh, and I think that was kind of the case with this, plus my internet is slow down here, and it may take a second to install. But there you go, so we've got the green notification on the bottom, Crisis Brigade is now installed. So you can just go through, and just remember, click on open, so we'll go back to games here. If you actually click on the main part of the game, it does this weird little pop-up. So you will want to go down and click open, uh, Space Pilot, Alliance, I have not tried this one out, and then just click Install Latest. And this way you can also, if there's an update, just click Install Latest and it will update it on your headset like that. We can come over and take a look at some of the apps. There's not a whole a lot of apps here. Here's the Quest app launcher again. Virtual Boy Go is great. You will need to find the ROMs for it, but it's like an emulator for the old Nintendo Virtual Boy. Uh, so it's it looks identical to the old Virtual Boy, except instead of just having red, you can change colors. It's all monochrome though, so you can go green, blue, whatever. That's one that's definitely worth checking out if you like kind of that retro stuff. Uh, and then over here, we've got mods. Mods are primarily Beat Saber mods right now, but we're starting to see that progress a little bit. Uh, so all up here we've got, these are all Beat Saber mods. Uh, right down here though, there are mods for the Firefox, uh, Fire Reality or Firefox Reality, the uh, browser that just came out a couple weeks ago. And that's a pretty cool browser and you can change the world, like your environment in that. And so I, the Death Star environment is pretty cool. So if you've got uh, Firefox Reality installed, come check out some of these uh, environments for that those are pretty cool and then there's all sorts of like signs and uh, saber mods right there and you just go down you can click more like here's a uh, may the force be with you sign replacement in beat saber 
I actually made that one. So I've got, I've got a, a bunch of Beat Saber mods that you can find here on SideQuest as well. Uh, so that's how you kind of browse through and install the stuff that you're gonna find on SideQuest. Now let's say that you want to install an outside app. You're gonna want to install App Starter, Definitely gonna to want to install that. I'll provide a link down below. And you're gonna to want to install the App Starter shortcut. So you've got that shortcut in your unknown sources. And I'll show you here in a sec. But here's how you install regular old Android apps. It's really, really easy. Um, so let's go back up to this folder. I've got a folder kind of ready. So here we've got App Starter 4.0. You're just gonna click it and drag it to the top left of SideQuest, okay? Click it. And then, boom, it's a small app, and there you go, we got the notification down below, the confirmation in green that it installed. Good to go. So any apps that you wanna download, uh, you can just install them that way. So if you find a cool app online, and I'll provide a link to a couple of app repositories, like alternatives to the Google Play Store. Uh, and I did a video actually on how to download apps on your computer from the Google Play Store. So say you're on Google Play, you're like, oh, I want you know, Asphalt 9, that looks like a lot of fun. Um, I'll put a link to that down below too. It's really easy to do. So you can do it without having to have an Android device. Uh, but you just drag and drop them over to the side quest square area. It's gotta be top, uppermost, left, or right there. And so, I mean, that's pretty much the tall and short of side loading stuff. There's a bunch of Beat Saber stuff in this. You're gonna wanna use Beat On. I'm not gonna get into any Beat Saber stuff here. I did a video just for that. I'll put a link down below, a lot of links down below today. Um, so, but let's take a look inside the headset and kind of see uh, what we've got cooking down there. So I'm going to actually uh, connect wirelessly so I can unplug this. So these are some batch files I made to make this easy. And then cast, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna be casting. And uh, let me just open this up. I wanna check one other thing. Okay, and we're gonna pop this on. And let's go over to navigate. So <clears throat> you're gonna start off in your library at home. Let me make sure we got this and I'm facing the right direction. Okay, so here is your home environment. You're gonna go down here and you're gonna click on your library. Let me grab this other controller so it's kind of out of the way. And then on the left, you're gonna click on unknown sources. So if you've installed App Starter and you've installed the shortcut, which would be this right here, App Starter TV, you're gonna click that and it's gonna open up App Starter for you right here in Oculus Quest, or in Oculus TV, sorry. You're gonna click on apps, and this is where all of your regular side-loaded apps, so like see we got Angry Birds here, Asphalt 8, I've got a Nintendo emulator, a PlayStation Portable emulator, VLC player, uh, so that I can actually use my file explorers to access my Microsoft OneDrive in the cloud, and I can stream movies right in here. It doesn't work with 3D movies, but it will work with 2D movies. Uh, so I've got like a terabyte of videos in the cloud I can play right here from anywhere, which is awesome. Um, you are going to want, this is imperative, you're gonna want a file manager. And I'd suggest getting these two, file manager plus, just because graphically it looks good and it displays well. So here, is what this looks like. Down here is cloud storage. So you can set up your Microsoft OneDrive or your Google Drive or Dropbox uh, by clicking on cloud. Here's your main storage. And this is your main storage. And this is exactly what you would see if you were to plug your Quest into your computer. So we can go down, let's go down. Here's, you know, download. So anything I download, this is gonna be here right here. So another app that I'd suggest you get is APK Pure. I'll provide a link to it as well. It's like an alternative app store. So you can search for games and Android apps right inside of your headset right here. And so if I wanted to install Asphalt 8, I wouldn't click it in here though. And we'll get to this in a sec. So uh, File Manager Plus, doesn't handle installing apps well for some reason. So you don't want to actually install using this app. Okay, and then we got a settings app. I will provide a link to this app 
the settings app is great. So now I'm just gonna use the B button. We're gonna back out of this. Uh, so if I wanna access my regular Android settings, uh, that settings app isn't really an app, it's just a shortcut that allows you to get in here. Now here's my regular Android apps. It's like I'm using a cell phone, but I can access all of my Android apps. I've heard some people say they're having a hard time changing time, things like that. You can do that from within the settings, but you need to have this little shortcut to actually launch those hidden settings right there. Now, ES File Explorer, this one looks really clunky and it doesn't display well, and well, and you'll see here. So yeah, it's kind of too big, um, but we'll go over to internal storage, we'll go to downloads, see everything, it doesn't look as nice as File Manager Plus, but if I wanted to install the app, I just click install, um, package install, it doesn't quite fit where we're just gonna click this time only. Um, you could click always, but I like to keep my options open so I don't have to change that later. And then click install and it will install it and done. Now I already had this installed, uh, but this was just to kind of show you because it's also very quick to install. Um, but I will provide links to download the settings app. I'll provide link to APK Pure, which we can open up here. Now you're not gonna get like any free games or paid games for free, uh, it will take you over to the Google Play Store uh, for that which isn't present in this, so you're kind of out of luck if you want some of those paid games. Uh, but lots of good free stuff in here. Uh, yeah, so and if you download an app using APK Pure, once it starts to, or it's finished downloading, it's gonna to wanna to install it and it'll start to do that automatically. Um, just tap the home button and then you can hit back and then you're gonna to wanna to go find it in ES File Explorer under your downloads. So then you're gonna find it here. So that's like where I got Asphalt 8. There's, it's just kind of glitchy trying to install apps uh, from within the headset like that, but ES File Explorer does it great. Um, but I really only use that to install apps. Uh, if you go to File Manager, you can click on apps and let's say you've got something like, let's say settings, here's settings where you wanna know what, I wanna uninstall it. Just long press it and then click uninstall and it will uninstall any apps that you have, VR apps or any of your side loaded apps. So that's great here. Um, access from PC, you could actually access this device from the PC. I'll do another video on that though. We're getting a little bit more complicated. Um, so there you go. Um, I've got a restore file. If you go over here, when you install App Starter and you launch it, you're gonna see every app on your Quest, all of the VR apps, everything, and it can be really cluttered. You can go over to System and go down here to, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Settings, and then go down to Hidden Apps, and then you can scroll and check apps that you don't wanna see. And so see, here are all my VR apps that I don't want showing up. Um, under settings as well, you can go all the way down to export and import, and you can click import, and I will provide you with a file that you can import, and you're just gonna put it on the root of your Oculus Quest here. So you're just going to plug it in to your computer, your computer's gonna show, it's gonna show up, you're gonna open it up, and you'll see all these folders. Don't stick it in any folder, just copy that um, app starter restore thing right to the root folder of your Oculus Quest, and then go into app starter, go to settings, and then go to restore, and you'll get that cool carbon fiber background that I've got there, that's part of it. And I've got most games that I could think of set to just automatically be checked off to not show all of your VR apps. So, you know, like super hot, Beat Saber, things you can't use with an Oculus TV on app starter, won't show there, and it makes life a lot easier. It's just a lot less cluttered. Um, I think that's about it. I think we've covered everything. So everything you need to know on the quest or on a side quest, just drag and drop the APKs up top. Um, there is some more functionality to remove apps and whatnot through side quests. But if you've got ES File Explorer or File Manager, you can uninstall apps from there as well and you can see exactly what you're doing. So that's how I pretty much handle all of the installed apps there. Um, I think that's it, we've covered everything. If I've missed anything, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. Come join our Facebook group. I've uh, put a link down below. We've got a great Facebook community just for Quest users. It's got almost, I think, like 7,000 members, so it's grown, it's awesome over there. Um, give the video a thumbs up if this helped, <clears throat> if you liked it. Uh, give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it for whatever reason. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. I do these videos fairly frequently. Be sure to hit that bell button. That's 
that's important so that you actually know when I do videos. Otherwise, what's the point of subscribing? And I think that's it. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.